I want to talk about the shiny new idea. So there's this concept for those who don't know it by that name that you get about 50 pages, maybe 10,000 words into a new project. And all of a sudden you get a shiny new idea. This timing is not arbitrary. <laughs> it's not, there's a reason he's going to, yeah, I saw it. I saw it coming. So there's a reason that the shiny new idea happens at roughly the 50 page mark, or if you're lucky, the 100 page mark, or heaven forbid, the 150 page mark. For some of us, it happens at all three of those marks. All of a sudden, you get a new idea, and it takes all of your focus and all of your strength, and you're like, why? Why am I writing this thing that doesn't excite me anymore when I could be writing the shiny new thing? So what happens is your story, whatever it is you're working on, becomes familiar. It has to become familiar in order for you to write it, you know? That's part of the creative process is becoming familiar with your story. The problem is, as a story becomes familiar, sometimes we mistake that for boredom. You know? And sure, in some ways it is boring compared to this thing that you know nothing about. It's the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy. Your shiny new idea, you haven't messed it up yet, right? You haven't had a chance to screw it up. So it's inherently better than the thing you're working on. But it comes for all of us and it is simply a sign that you are actually getting to know the project that you're working on. So many of the questions I receive circle around this topic of the shiny new idea right? What do I do? How do I ignore the shiny new idea? Should I ignore the shiny new idea? Should I abandon the project that I'm working on? No. Make a cue. Make an idea file. Shelve it away. Let it sit. There's two reasons to do that. The first reason is because that shiny new idea is a lie, right? It's a, it's a, a faint. It's trying to distract you from the project at hand. The second reason to go ahead if you can and put the shiny new idea in a file to sit and to simmer is because that's how we get to know stories. That's how we get the richness into them. So look at it as you're putting it on deck. You're letting it steep. You're letting yourself decide if it's actually a good idea or just a spur of the moment thing. And it'll get richer. It'll get more layers. If the moment you get a shiny new idea, you write the whole thing, you're only going to get that top layer of a story. Now that's not to say don't do anything about it. What I do when I get a shiny new idea is I make a file for it. I make a folder and I dump all of those initial batch of thoughts into the file. I'll open it if I have a little notation on a character or something, but I don't abandon that the project that I'm working on for the shiny new idea. And that's because the shiny new idea is a symptom of the book that you're writing now. It's not that the book that you're writing now is suddenly boring. It's that the book you're writing now is hard, right? The longer you work on a project, the more likely you are to quit it. The shiny new idea is trying to get you to quit. The reason being that the shiny new idea is all potential energy. It's something that you haven't touched yet. It's something that you haven't messed up yet. It's something that you're not familiar with. That Familiarity is the core issue here because what's actually happening is you are becoming familiar with the project you're working on by about the 50 page mark or the 100 page mark. You have a pretty good idea of it. You're starting to feel it out. And that's really scary because the more work you put into a project, the more mistakes you make, the more likely you are to have wandered off the course a little bit, right? And that shiny new idea, it's all potential energy. You haven't messed it up at all yet. And this kind of gets back to this idea of a first draft, right? One of the reasons that first drafts are so hard is because you have an idea in your head and it's, it's beautiful. And then you put the idea on paper and the first draft is a chasm apart from the idea in your head. It is in fact the farthest that that idea in your head will ever be from itself, right? Over the course of revision, we try to reduce the gap between the idea in our head and what is actually on paper. But a first draft is, is the farthest thing from what we want it to be, and we have to decrease that distance. But we don't decrease that distance in the first draft. That's something that we do in future drafts as we work and we kind of, I always picture it as like a fishing reel and you're like reeling it back in towards you. The first draft is you casting that line really far out. And that's a scary, hard process, which is one of the reasons that the shiny new idea has so much power over us. So 
I don't give in to the shiny new idea. I recognize it as my brain trying to trick me into giving up on something. And really, it just means that I'm actually starting to get to know my story. It's less fun sometimes as it goes on, but you have to become familiar with a project in order to execute it, right? There's a reason that so many aspiring writers or aspiring authors, I should say, if author is the occupation, God damn it. If author is the occupation and writing is the act, so many aspiring authors, so many writers out there start projects and they don't finish them. And it's because it's a combination of becoming scared, becoming familiar with a thing and mistaking familiarity for boredom and giving in continuously to the shiny new idea. Right? So if you're able, what I recommend doing is creating a file for every shiny new idea. Take an hour if you need to. Drop everything you can think of, everything that makes that thing shiny to you into the file, and then put the file away. I continually have six or seven projects in those files, and they sit on deck. And then some of them, by the time I'm ready to take on a new project, they're ready, and some of them I realize, eh, it wasn't actually a good idea. It was just different from whatever I was working on now, which is what made it seem appealing. So, <sighs> shiny new ideas, man. We all get them. They are tricky, tricksy things. They're meant to distract us, but don't get distracted. 